guys, today I'm going to show you how I achieve these curls. This hair is from my hair and lash company, The Beauty Boutique. I will leave hair details in the description box below. If you would like to see how I achieve this look, make sure you keep on watching. So I'm going to take a medium size section and I'm just going to section that off. And I'm going to curl my hair using like a... I think it's a one inch curling iron I got from Target. And I'm just gonna curl away from my face because you want that swoopy type look. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, you're just gonna wrap the hair just how you see in the video. Make sure you get those ends, that is really important. I don't have a set time on how long I keep the curling iron to my hair. You just don't wanna burn the hair, like 30 seconds maybe. It ain't necessary, it's just gonna burn it please. And then you're gonna take your flexi rod. This is a 26 inch wig, so I didn't really need this long of a flexi rod, but if you have longer than 26 inches, this will be the perfect length flexi rod for you. And you're just gonna wrap it like just like that. Make sure you get the ends because you do not want your hair to look frizzy at the bottom. So now that I'm at the top of the hair, um, this is the really most important part because this is the bang part. So you want this. This is what makes the look. Um, I'm sectioning off these really small. And the key to this is to cut layers into your hair. If I didn't know this video, I would have showed you how I cut my layers. But this is the key. Cut layers into the front part of your hair because it will get that bouncy look. I'm telling you. And then you're just going to get... A small inch um, flexi rod because of the layers, you know, it's so short, you don't want it to be falling out the long flexi rods. So just get like a short flexi rod for this part. So at this part, I said curl away from your face, but you're going to curl downwards because this gives that little swoop look over your eye. You want that. So just do that. El Atido de Nora. So now that I finished the other side, I'm going to finish my right side, which is the hardest side for me to do. I don't know why, but you're going to do the same exact thing like you do it on the other side of your head. And it's a real easy process, y'all, but this thing takes forever to do. But I would suggest you do this, leave your flexi rock in for a few hours overnight. Let the curls marinate. I want to point out how I do my flexi rods. I do not twist my hair into the flexi rod because I do not like that look. I only twist the ends because that's important to get, but I will explain in more detail on how and what I mean by twisting the hair into the flexi rod. <laughs>
and this is what I mean. This is what I mean by twisting the hair. You taking the plexi rod and you're literally twisting. You see how that look like? Hold on. You are literally twisting. I don't want that. It was not cute to me. This is you just really keeping the hair flat and you're wrapping it around like. <laughs> so I end up running out of flexi rods, which you can tell when I take the hair down. I got like 10 and 12 flexi rods in my head. Please get more than 10 or 12 because you're going to need it. You don't want to be like me and run out and it's going to ruin the entire look. But see, I wasn't tripping, even though it kind of bothered me the whole day, but I had somewhere to go, honey. I didn't have time to be worried about the hair. But y'all get the point, though, when you see the end result. So now you just take your flexi rods down and it don't got to be perfect. You just go in any order, but you don't want to be too rough with it either because you don't want it to frizz up and then mess up the curls. Then you have to recurl it and all that. That's just too much going on and you just did all this work. So you're just going to take some oil and you're just going to comb that through your hair for frizziness. And as you will see on my left, right side is when I ran out of flexi rods. And it was straight and it was strong, but you know what, it is what it is. I had to go. So you're just going to play with it with your comb and your hands until you get your desired look. And that's all for today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will leave all hair details in the description box. If you want more tutorials, make sure you let me know in the comments. And if you follow this tutorial, make sure you tag me because I would love to see it. That's all for today. I will see you next time.